Hey guys, I'm recording this video to talk about a solution that I've come up with for cooling the Tesla P40 uh, slash M40. And I don't typically make videos, especially those with my face in it. So I have a little bit of leniency with me um, if there's any issues. There's not gonna be any editing for the video, it's just gonna be me talking. So typically when you get a Tesla, NVIDIA Tesla card, which is a data center card, uh, these are made to go into a data center, obviously, so it, it's kept cool that way through air being forced in. So if you want to use one of these um, in a consumer computer or, or have some kind of consumer uh, cooling solution, you would get a 3D printed adapter that allows you to attach a fan to it that forces air through the car. So you can see it's a parallel heat sink here. Um, those are usually pretty cheap, but they're typically loud and they add a lot of length to the card. Maybe makes the card 17 inches or so. So I don't like this solution. Um, so what I've done here is you can pick one of these up, which is an EVGA GTX 770. And this one here is no good. Uh, it's even missing a screw here, which isn't a big deal. Um, because I don't care about the card itself. This is, it's super old anyway. Uh, what I do care about is the heat sink and the uh, VRAM cooler here. So this, uh, this metal plate here. Uh, so what I've done is, is I've removed the metal plate and I've made a few modifications and I may make another video going into detail on how to do it on another card because I do have another Tesla card. That's why I own this here. Um, I've had to cut uh, this piece here off and then I've had to cut some of this heat sink back, um, avoiding this pipe here uh, to allow the eight pin EPS connector to attach or, or uh, the heat sink to be able to go over the eight pin EPS connector. So this is the solution I've got here. And you can see I've kind of sanded out 770 here. Um, this is the P40 now. Uh, so I've got the metal plate here, here, cooling the VRAM, the VRMs, as well, here. Um, and then I've cut this out, you can see the carnage here, uh, to allow the heat sink to go over the A-pin e EPS connector without touching it. Make sure it's not touching those uh, exposed metal pins. Uh, additionally, um, there has to be a way to attach this front piece. So I bent a little piece of aluminum to go back here to screw into um, for that to work out. And so let's see here. One more thing is, and you're going to have this problem anyways with the Tesla card. You've got to power the fans. Uh, and so this has nowhere to plug into on this uh, Tesla card. So they make adapters that you can buy on eBay or Amazon or on AliExpress to uh, convert this to a regular fan head and that you can just plug into your motherboard. And so I've tested the solution and it does work. I don't have exact numbers on the um, uh, on how hot it gets. Uh, I may make another video, like I said, showing how to do it and uh, getting exact numbers on this once I actually get the adapter here. But I want to go ahead and make this video in case I didn't get a chance to make another one showing that this is possible. And the process is going to be the same for both the Tesla M40 and the P40 because um, they're, as far as I know, they're exactly the same underneath here. Uh, additionally, it doesn't necessarily have to be just the 770. Um, I think the 980 will fit as well. Anything that has a 58.4 by 58.4 uh, mounting system. And so I think that's it. That's, that's all I wanted to add in this video. So I just want to show that it is possible, the Tesla P40 slash M40 uh, with a consumer heat sink on it. So thank you all for watching and uh, have a good one. Thank you.